hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be talking about quarter whip so without further delay let's get into the video So here we are on Flutter Web's official website and as you know Flutter 1.5 is live right now. Uh, this update supports Flutter for Web which is a framework for developing web apps through Flutter. Currently available as technical preview and we are hoping for update for stable version soon. The framework is made in Dart and the browser compilation is done in C++ and JavaScript. So let's go to the Flutter's github repo for instructions how to install it so first of all you have to install webdev it's a tool to compile flutter project into html and javascript code installing this will take a few minutes so please be patient uh, as i've already installed it uh, it's resolving the dependencies till it does that let's go to Visual Studio and start a new project. So before this update you used to get only new project option in Flutter but now you get an option for Flutter web project as well. If you don't have that option run Flutter upgrade and you will be able to start a new web project. Uh, so as you can see it's currently pre-compiling executables. It's uh, almost done and in visual studio here you have to type your web projects or web apps name uh, in my case i'm gonna go with my site so my site and enter uh, it'll ask you for the location i'm gonna go with the default location and it's running some background codes to start the project as you can see installing the web dev is completed so let's clear the screen and go to the current directory of the project in this directory you can see there are two folders one is flutter web which contains the compiled code uh, which is main.dart and index.html and a lib folder uh, so index.html is basically just a html file and in lib folder you can see main.dart this contains the flutter code or your dart code so i'm gonna get rid of this comments and here we go so let's wait for the flutter package gate or pop gate to complete flutter web app project ready Still the packages are not completely fetched so I'm gonna run flutter get packages and here we go. Now let's go to the flutter's instruction website for further more commands. As you can see here there are many commands that is useful for developing the web app. Uh, if you go further down you can see this command uh, which is for starting the server it's uh, stateless auto reload so your states are not kept when auto reload is done and it is recommended to manually refresh if you find any unexpected behavior and flutter development team has promised that they will be releasing stateful or reload soon they are actively working on it so if you go further down you can see command to build your project or run it as release version so i'm gonna run this command to start 
the server for my project I'm going to open command prompt and type the command So I'm gonna go to the Visual Studio and see if everything's fine. And as you can see, the project has started successfully. So let's go to localhost. And here is our website. It's gonna take a while. And here we go. So this is the web app that is default template. And we can edit the code to see how it works. So if I change this Flutter demo, that's the title of the web app. I'm gonna change it to my site. And if I save it, it's gonna hot reload and change the title of the web app. And similarly down here, this is for the app bar. We'll change this, but let's see if it works for a hot reload and it does so I'm gonna quickly change this so that we can change the code for our web app I don't need these all I'm gonna go with simple pattern so if I change that text to title it will hot reload and change it in the web app I'm gonna center the title and you can see the debug tag right there on the web app to get rid of that go to your material app and uh, type debug so check mode to false so I'm gonna change the theme of the app as well I'm gonna get rid of this center widget and I'm gonna put here grid view uh, just for the demo purpose and just some simple codes. I'm gonna give this a padding of um, let's give it padding of 20 pixels and I'm gonna give cross access count 3 for now and in the grid view I'm gonna put some card views with color and text within it I'm going to center the text field so that it's in center of the card and I'm going to copy this and create some duplicates of the card.
and the next thing I want to put is a drawer uh, so that it look attractive and in the drawer I'm gonna put user accounts drawer header with a flutter logo as its current accounts picture but as you can see the problem here is the icon is not loading we'll fix that later on The problem is the material icons are not supported or not rendered so to fix this go to your web folder and create a new folder and name it assets and within that folder uh, just create a new file and name it font manifest.session This file will contain the basic JSON format for including fonts. In Flutter, you do this in pop spec, but for Flutter web, you have to create a new file and include the fonts through the JSON format. The font is material icons. Uh, I'm gonna quickly format this. So that it's easier to see and we have to download the form it's available in github you can search the google for the material icon ttf and you'll get the first link to the github repo which contains the file just download the font uh, you can download it from the github and after you have downloaded it create a new folder within the asset and name it fonts as i've done here and copy the font that you have downloaded to your font directory after that copy the name of the file and just put it inside the string of assets the current path for the font and after you save that it should work and yes guys it's working now as you can see it's currently rendering properly And the next thing that I want to show you guys is that although it's responsive but it's not the way that I want it to be uh, so if I increase the size um, the tiles inside the grid view are increased but I want to change the cross axis count as I change the size of the screen so for that I'm gonna use media query and I'm gonna get the width and compare it so that I can uh, supply the fixed amount of cross axis count.
and if I save this it should work and it is working guys so as you can see if I change the screen size and if it's big and then there are three tiles and it decreases as the screen size decrease So this is the project that I just created and it's fine even though it's in technical preview but it's pixel perfect and there are some bugs but I hope they will be fixed soon. Uh, and just for the demo I uh, I have created another project which is a uh, dashboard project which is similar to this so I'm gonna run that and this time I'm gonna use release tag which is web dev serve iPhone R so it will run in release mode wait for a few seconds and it will be running so if I refresh uh, my browser and I can see that project running so it's beautiful it's pixel perfect so these are the things that you can do with further web there are some bugs but I know they will be fixed very soon and I'm waiting for that Thank you guys for watching the video. If you like the video then please leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed already. And if you have any questions or if you want to know more about Flutter please leave the questions in the comment section. I'll be happy to reply to you.